Hey guys, it's me, Sam. <laughs> have like their signature intro or like how they introduce themselves I want something like that so that's mine hi it's Sam <laughs> if you've never seen house bunny I just watched house bunny again like for the 500th time oh no it's just this thing I do to remember people's names Natalie so Oh my god. I haven't, I haven't been outside in like two weeks. <laughs> I haven't seen a person in two months other than my family. I haven't seen the sun. <laughs> this is getting weird. Hi, I'm Sam. That's not going to be my intro. I need to come up with something else because that's just like... That's not okay. Most girls on here doing makeup are like, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm like, hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> this, I'm not putting this in the video. Actually, yeah, I probably am because I just, I love to embarrass myself. Um, today I opened up my BoxyCharm Premium and I showed you everything that I got and I put it all on my face. So, if you're interested in May's BoxyCharm Premium, keep on watching. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>
okay? It always comes with a little pamphlet here and it tells you about each product that you received in your box. I'm not gonna look at it because I don't wanna know what's in here yet, but we'll get back to that. So this is first, Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Long Wear Gilda Bronzer. Does this smell like chocolate? Please smell like chocolate. Look how cute that is. I don't know, I think they're trying to make it smell like chocolate. It doesn't really, I don't know. Made with 100% natural cocoa powder and real gold. <laughs> Stop it. So bougie. A Too Faced Cosmetics Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. This retails for $30. Next, I'm just gonna reach my hand in here and just pull something out, because I like to be surprised. Sugar Rush Best Bud by Tarte Lip Butter Balm. This is cute. I don't know if this is a shade, Peony? I'm a little stupid, you guys. I can't open. <laughs> Why can't I ever open anything? How did I go this long of my life? <gasps> Stop. Stop it right now. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, it smells so good. We're gonna use this really quick. Mmm. It feels so soft. And creamy. It tastes good. <laughs> this is so cute, you guys. So this, once again, is by Tarte Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm. I like this. Um, how much did this cost? $12. What are we at? $42. We are already over what we spent on the box. Next. Ooh. Kevin Coin, the expert mascara. So this is what it looks like. Let's see the brush. Whoa, that's weird. It's pretty cool though, but that's kind of weird. I've never seen, can you see that? I don't know. Can you see that? I'm gonna pull a beauty guru move. Does that do anything? I don't think it does. They lie about that, you guys. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, how much did that cost? $29 for this mascara. That's expensive, okay? Listen, I only buy one mascara and one mascara only because it is my favorite mascara and I never need another one because it's just the best. And you know what mascara that is? Roller Lash. Go buy it. What's next? Milk Makeup. Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. Okay, this is cute, but what's going on here? What is this? What is going on here? Lip and Cheek, so I guess it's like a little rosy tint. Oh, this is actually pretty. You can't really see it. Can you see that? Not really. It's very sheer, it's a little sparkly and rosy. I guess you can use it as a blush, you can use, use it as a lip gloss. It's called Lip and Cheek, so it's very tiny, tiny. Let's see how much this is. I'm not too excited about this, if you can't tell. Um, this is $15. Whatever. Next, I didn't like that. I was gonna say, oh my god, they sent me something that's been opened already, but I'm just a slob. Next we have, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. This is by Pure Heels, or it's called Pure Heels by Nature Village, but it says Centella, um, I think I'm just stupid. Is this just in another language? Centella 90 Ampoule. What is it? Tell me what it tell me what it is. What is it? Soothing ampoule, which contains Santella Asiatica extract. <laughs> what like what does that mean to me? I don't know what this means. It relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin barrier. Okay, now we're speaking English. 
I love skincare, but ooh, holy crap. That smells amazing. I didn't even open it yet, and just the box smells so good. Okay, yeah. I like this. I didn't even use it yet, but I like it. I love when things come with a little dropper like this. I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm a scientist. Guys, this smells amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this already and I didn't even use it. I'm excited for this. Let's actually read a little bit about this on here because, ugh, what is it? A soothing serum containing 90% is Centella Asiatica extract. Relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin barrier. This serum contains ceramide, which helps strengthen the damaged skin's moisture barrier and keeps the skin clear from the external environment. So, and the MSRP on this is $28. I'm excited to use that. And I have, what is this? Baddington. I'm intrigued. Brush set. Cool. Ooh. So first thing off the bat, there's a hair just coming out of it. Um, I don't like the way this brush feels. It feels like a natural hair brush. I don't, I, I don't know. I guess we'll use it with that chocolate bronzer and see if we like it. Oh, there's another brush in here too. <laughs> I like the, I think the packaging is very classy. I like this. But I don't know how I feel about the actual brush. Here's another one. Yeah, I don't really like this. Okay, we'll, we'll use it and then give our opinion on it. Baddington Beauty Powder and Contour Brush Set. This high-performance powder and contour brush set is an excellent addition to your makeup accessories. <laughs> I don't know about that. Experience the transformative power of contouring with the only brush you'll ever need to sculpt, enhance, and define like a pro. That is a very large claim msrp 90 dollars <laughs> are they on methamphetamine 90 dollars am i missing something because i just i don't like it i don't know so i'm sticking my hand in the box and all i'm feeling is cardboard so i think <laughs> i think we've come to the end of this box wow you guys you know, I have to say, I am extremely, extremely disappointed in this month's Boxy Premium. First of all, am I a joke to them? Look how small this is. They sent me something that is smaller than my thumb. And I don't have a big thumb. They're playing games. Let me make sure I got everything. Kevin Coin Expert Mascara. Too Faced Cosmetics Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer, Milk Makeup Glow and Oil Lip and Cheek, Baddington Beauty Powder and Contour Brush Set, Tarte Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm, Cure Heal Centella 90 Ampoule Serum. Yeah, that's everything. Wow, you guys. I think this is the most disappointing box I've ever gotten in my entire life, and that is including the base box. Like, I've gotten so many base boxes, which is less money than this, that... I appreciated more than this box. So let's just add everything up and see overall the value of the box. I mean, at the end of the day, I only spent $35 on it and obviously the products that I have here are well over $35, but I'm like not excited about any of them. I'm literally not excited about any product that I got. And I'm upset that I didn't get a palette in there because I love my eyeshadow. So let's see. Kevin Nicole Mascara, $29. Too Faced, $30. Milk Makeup, $15. Trash. Um, Baddington Beauty, $90. Buggin. Tarte, $12. That one I actually liked. And the Centella 90 M Pool Serum Asitiaka Extract, $28. So overall, we have a total value of $204. And I spent $35 on the box. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to try all this stuff on. I'm upset that I don't have an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to actually do, like, a little quick base of makeup first. This way we could get the whole, you know, vibe of this makeup and give it a real test. So I'll be right back. And I will look better. Now. Okay, so do I look better? 
No, that was rude. I'm just kidding. Um, I didn't do anything yet because actually I want to show you me putting this on. Not that you probably even care. I'm gonna get a couple drops. I'm use like that much. This smells so good. I don't know what it is about this. It smells so good, but it smells like peppermint kind of. I don't know why I felt the need to like turn the camera back on just to do this. How's my face look? Does it look good? Is it shiny? Does it look moisturized? Does it look plump and healthy and beautiful? And how, how's the Centella Tapioca Ampoule uh, Asiatica Complex working for me? Good. All right, so this time when I come back, I'll look good. I'll look better, okay? Stay right there. Okay, so now do I look a little better? So all I did was I put primer on, I put foundation on, I put concealer on, and I cream contoured. So now I'm going to use this bronzer by Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Longwear Gilded Bronzer. And it says luminous, so it's obviously going to be sparkly. Um, a lot of people don't like sparkly bronzers. I don't mind them. Anything that sparkles is for me. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in with this big fluffy brush to use this. God, this does not smell like chocolate. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know who is on the marketing team over there and I don't know what chocolate they're eating. This don't smell like chocolate. All right, here we go. So I cream contoured, like I said, so I'm just gonna put it over the cream contour. Well, it's pretty so far. I like that so far. Um, you know something? This brush isn't so bad. It actually feels quite nice on the face. And it's doing well blending that bronzer in. Okay. I judged it, but $90, absolutely not. <laughs> That's insane for the two brushes, which means they're $45 each. No, there are affordable brushes out there that perform so, so well that it's really unnecessary to buy a brush that's more than $30. It has that, you know, um, those highlighters that look very powdery on your face and it just looks like powder sparkles on your face? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's what this looks like. The color of the bronzer itself is pretty. I think I would have much rather prefer this without the sparkles in it because it does look a little powdery, those sparkles. There's humans outside of my house. What are they doing? Don't they know? Outside bad, inside good. You know what? I actually, I don't hate this. I kind of like it. That powdery sparkle actually is like setting into my skin now and it doesn't look as powdery. What's going on here? There's a lot of trickery going on. I hate the brushes, now I'm liking them. But I didn't like the bronzer, now I'm liking it. I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. Guys, this is one of my favorite little tricks to do when I'm doing like no makeup makeup. I take my bra, I dip my brush in my bronzer and I literally, I'm not even looking at what I'm doing right now. And I just put it in the crease and I bring it, I drag it under my eye. It just gives your eyes a little bit of dimension while still looking Kind of like you have nothing on your eyes so i like that little trick next we're gonna go in with this <laughs> so it's basically just like a lip and cheek tint i own actually quite a few lip and cheek tints and i use none of them i'm opening this from the bottom just because like this really isn't my thing it's really not my thing i don't even know how to go about doing this let's just put it on my finger Oh my god, I hate this. Oh, eh. 
when you tap it in, actually, it's not so bad. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm very indecisive today. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I thought it was snowing before. I, and I think it was snowing outside a little bit before. But maybe that was pollen. I don't know what's going on. I actually like it. I actually, I kind of, I, I like that. <laughs> God, I talk so much shit about this product. I threw it all over the place and now like, I like it. Let's try using. Yeah, that should be good. Um, this brush I don't like. And I'm sticking to this one. I don't like this brush. There's no like fluidity to it. It doesn't move. It's extremely, extremely dense and it literally does not move. It's very stiff. If you're trying to get something extremely controlled then maybe like stippled on, maybe, but for this, I don't like it. I'm sticking to that opinion. I actually, I actually like this. Can you see it? It kind of makes me look a little glowy. What else didn't we use? Oh, the mascara. Let me curl my lashes. All right, so my lashes are curled. This is the Kevin Coin, the Expert Mascara. I love that sound. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's okay. I feel like this is just way too big and chunky and it's really hard. I have small lashes and it's hard to get in like the inner corner. I got it all over my eyes <laughs> and I feel like my lashes just look clumpy. When I'm brushing it up, it doesn't glide through my lashes easily. It kind of just like clumps up. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? It didn't really do much for my, my lashes. It didn't separate them, it didn't lengthen them. It didn't really give them any volume, it just made them black. Also, I found that the brush was just way too big to do my lower lashes. So, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of this mascara. I wanna know who's mowing their lawn right now. Which one of you? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. This is something you do at eight o'clock in the morning while I'm trying to sleep. I don't appreciate it. I'm gonna try and give this brush another go around. I'm gonna use it with my highlighter. I don't think it's a good idea because it's pretty big. But we're just gonna, we're gonna try it anyway. All right, see, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So for highlight, it's not that bad. I still don't really like it, but it's better for highlight than it was for that cheek tint. By the way, I'm using the Ofra Signature Highlighter Palette. This is the palette that I told you guys you have to go get. And I feel like it's showing up way better right now than it was the other day please 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 just go get this palette i promise you you won't regret it and you will thank me okay just go and get it go hello i know you see it i know you see it go get it oh that is every thing that came in my boxy premium <sighs> i hated it <laughs> let me zoom you out a little okay guys so that is it for today if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up maybe leave a little comment subscribe and i will see you in the next i swear to god it's snowing outside Unless it's like this guy's lawn clippings, I don't know what's going on, but I see little flurries flying across my window. I don't know what's going on. Subscribe. Bye.
My nails are closed. Don't look. <laughs>